Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create an album in BandLab using unpublished songs. I've been asked quite a few times, how do you create an album on BandLab with songs that aren't yet published? And so here I'm going to show you how I do it. So first I'm going to go over here where it says projects just over here it says view all and I'm going to click on view all so now I've got my list of songs and I'm going to click on the first of my songs that I want for the album and then I'm going to click on these three dots next to project details I'm going to click on download and at the top here you see the mixed down version it says original and mastered and earlier I mastered my songs so I'm going to click on the mastered version and then I'm going to click on download wave because wave is going to be much better quality than an mp3 or an m4a now this pop-up appears which is the name and well I gave the project a name but it's not really the name of the song so I'm going to just change it to to the name of the song And then I'm going to click on save. And that's now been saved to my download folder. And then I'm going to click anywhere outside of the pop-up window to close that window. And then I'm going to click on the back arrow for the browser. So it takes me back to my songs. Then I'm going to click on the second song. Click on the three dots next to project details and click on download. Choose the mastered version again and then click on the download wave. And then I'm going to change the name from the project to the song name. And then click on save okay click outside of the window again click on the back arrow on the browser and choose my third song click on the three dots again click on download click on mastered and click on download wave Now I'm going to click outside of the window again, click on the back arrow of the browser. So now I've got my three songs downloaded. I'm going to click on the back arrow of the browser again. So that takes me back to the home page. Now I'm going to sneak up here to this section here. You'll see there's this little icon with four circles on it and click on that then if you look here you'll see not so obvious but over here is albums 
I'm going to click on albums. Then you get this screen come up. I don't get all the screen on this window, so I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Not too, not too much. And there is this little link here that says create album. So I'll click on that. It's a rather convoluted way to get here, but we get here nonetheless. And we get the first window or screen of our new album set up. Now first I'm just going to click on this image of a photo here, or camera. And I'm going to click on update picture, and I'm just going to quickly grab a picture from my pictures folder I haven't really chosen one beforehand but this is one I've got sitting on there and yeah you can move this little white box across your image and the bit that sits inside that white box is the bit that's going to be chosen from your image for your album cover then I'm going to click on up, upload picture so now I've got my picture on there next I'm going to give the album a title And further down here is a description section. So type something in there. That'll help people understand what your music is about. In the genre, I'm going to go to the top here, click in rock, but obviously you can choose whichever genre is suitable for your album. And then over here we've got this section which is album type, and I'm going to click on EP. Because I've only got three songs, so that's basically an EP. But if you had five songs, you could go and click on LP, or if you've got seven or more songs you can go with album now you could release just a single through this as well or mixtape and mixtape is basically lots of different songs from different artists but i'm going to go with ep now the next section we've got here is release date now you can click on here which will set it as today's date but if you were releasing it on today's date you probably would already have released your songs anyway so I'm going to go here where I can put in a release date I'm going to stick this release date in so there I've got my release date and yes this album EP rather will actually be released on that date so if you're watching this video after that date you can actually hunt down this album on or EP on Bandlab now underneath that is his publishing feed so you've got these like comment posts that you have on your your channel if you like on Bandlab um, and that will just publish a statement saying the album's been released you can click on that to turn it off if you don't want people to know about it I don't see why you would do that but you can click on it if you want it on 
Right, so I've set all these up reasonably well. I'm going to now click on next up here. And you just get this message about schedule releases saying that your album and your songs will become public on that day. And you can barely see it, but there's a little X right there just to close that window. Right, so it now takes us to this next page and here we do the uploads. Now, if you were to choose from your library, then you would have to be choosing it from songs that you've got on BandLab that you've already published. But I don't want to use published songs, so I'm going to click on Upload from Computer. And that's why I just downloaded my unpublished songs. So if I now go to my downloads folder, I've got my three songs here. And if I select all three songs and click on, and then click on open, Just down here at the bottom left you can see that it's now attempting to upload these three songs into BandLab. And it takes a little while, but it gets going. And you can see these little bars running across to say that it's uploading them and it closes to open when they're done. Well, I'm just gonna click on the X here to close that. So here now I've got my three songs. And you can, over here is an edit. So if you click on that edit icon, you then get the chance to change the name of the song if you forgot to do it earlier. Um, and you can change its genre. Maybe you've got some songs that are rock, maybe some are pop, maybe some are electronic. Uh, so you can actually put the genre per song as well. You can add a track caption down here we've got advanced settings and if we click on that there's um this explicit content one that you can put a tick in the tick box there and that's an advisory thing so if you do use swear words in your songs i strongly recommend that you do click on the tick box there to make people aware that you've got explicit content in your song And under explicit content, you've got this one that says unlisted, which is turned on, which means that your song won't be listed separately from the album on your BandLab channel. So next I'm going to click on save. And you can do that with all your songs. Just make sure they're okay. Yep, I'm happy with those. Also, when you go over this section here, you'll see that this delete icon comes up. So if you've accidentally added a song and you decide not to keep it on your album, you can click on the delete and remove it. So with that done, I'm going to click on next. And then you get to this next page where you can decide whether your album or EP in my case is available free for people to listen to. But if you want people to pay for your album, you are going to need to set up this BandLab connected tip jar. Right, so having decided that I'm going to release this as a free album, I'm going to click up here on 
preview. And this will just be a page that gives an overall view of everything that we've just done. And it says here that this is in draft mode scheduled for October the 21st. And since I'm happy with that, now I'll go over here. There's three dots next to publish, which allows you to change the album settings if there's something you want to go back and change. But if you're happy, just click on publish. And then this message will come up and tell you what date your song is going to be released and what time. And then you click on publish. And with that done, I can now go up to the top of my browser window and close this web page. And now go back to my original feed or close this album's introduction web page as well. Go back to here. And we'll click on library. So now I've clicked on library. I can click on albums. And as you can see here, this album is now set for publish. And if I go back to my projects, you'll see that my three songs that I've added to my album are still unpublished. So there you have it. I've got my album ready to relaunch with all the songs added to it and the songs haven't been published on my BandLab channel to create the album. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.